Do you smell what Adcox is cooking? Hello, you lovely plant peeps. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. Back at you again from our good friends at Adcox Nursery. We're talking about smell-o-vision today. Wish you had it. We're talking about plants that smell amazing. First and foremost, we'll dive right into it. The all-time best smelling type plant that I go to when I'm designing landscapes is the Little Jim Magnolia. And it's just so fragrant, it's unbelievable. Huge white plumes, huge white buds. And these are excellent plants to add very close to where you're gonna inhabit, where you're gonna live, where you gonna barbecue, baby. Uh, little Jim Magnolia all day long. Excellent scent as that wind travels through, it takes you into another dimension. The scent is so lemony and vibrant and crisp. It gets you in a really good mood. And you know, that's part of landscaping is, uh, you know, enabling multiple senses to come into that area. You have sight, sound, and smell. And so this is a great tool to add value to your space when you're talking about landscape plants. So the Little Jim Magnolia, it doesn't get overly tall. It's a evergreen plant, so you can screen those nasty neighbors out, right? And what a better screening plant than the Little Jim Magnolia because it gives you flower power. Usually spring all into summer, and like I said before, it is evergreen, so it's gonna remain a screening tool for you. And put these close to a patio, close to a deck, anywhere where you're gonna be able to enjoy this wonderful smell that it has. The Magnolia family has so many other varieties that get tremendously big. Little Jim Magnolia, however, does stay under 25 feet, usually tall. And uh, like I said, it's a great plant to add to your next Smell-O-Vision landscape, y'all. On to the next one. Next on the list, we have a beautiful bare budding plant. It's evergreen. It's amazing. It smells like weed because Kyle smokes weed. It's wax myrtle behind me here. Amazing smelling evergreen plant that you can add to your next landscape. It's super sunny today, super hot. And we're talking about some hot topic plants that smell amazing. Wax myrtle. Do you smell what Adcox is cooking? Wax Myrtle does it every time. All summer long, you get this wonderful fragrance that it naturally envelops. As the wind churns and burns around, it's carrying all that wonderful fragrance your way. You know, add Wax Myrtles as a screen to a nice area in the yard. You know, Wax Myrtles do get bulky. They do require a little bit of pruning maintenance. Wax Myrtles are very quick growing, love water, and so they grow quickly. And plants that grow really quick tend to break easy and are soft wooded. So do some maintenance on these old wax myrtles because that pruning will allow them to be a little bit stockier, a little bit stiffer, a little more rigid, and it's gonna give you a little bit more stability. Otherwise, if you're in a northern climate that gets ice and snow, wax myrtles can tend to break and uh, bend over too much. So uh, just watch that. They also have these wonderful berries that are starting now, and they will turn into purplish color, and the birds like to nibble on them and such. And it's just a very interesting plant. It's a native type plant. It grows along edges of waterways, etc. It will take a little bit of salt air. For those of you lucky enough on the coastline, wax myrtle, very easy to grow, very bulletproof type plant does require a little bit of maintenance. You need some pruning. No real insect disease issues here. Winter, winter, chicken den air. Wax myrtle, smell of vision number two. Number three on the list, gardenia. Gardenia has several varieties out there. This one happens to be Climes Hardy. 
It's a fairly compact gardenia as far as shrubs go. It's about four feet or so, tall and wide. Very bulletproof plant again. We'll get a little bit of insect pressure, but nothing too severe. It is evergreen, so it's gonna stay uh, leaf, leafy all year round. And it's just super fragrant. So we like to add these around patios, living areas, decks, etc., even containers. And what it does, it allows you to provide some sort of shrub uh, hedge along those areas and not be overly huge, not distract from views, etc. Stays nice and low, and it just gives you that amazing smell all summer long truly wonderful and it's very similar to the magnolia smell very citrusy and it just smells so great we love it gardenia is very well adaptive to a lot of soil types it does like a little bit of moisture so keep it uh, moist and just let it drain well you know typically most plants they may like a lot of water they may not but all plants generally like that water to leave the area after you do water no plant likes to sit heavy in water and be waterlogged. So we call that well-draining soil. And when you're planting plants, just give it a really good preparation uh, where you're cultivating underneath and you're planting twice the width of any root ball size and you'll be just fine. So add this one to your list, the gardenia. Here you go, plant peeps. We've got another great smelling plant to share with you today. This one happens to grow a lot lower than the other ones we showed you, but it is evergreen. This one's rosemary. This one happens to be creeping rosemary, and it's just simply amazing. Your mom and parents and siblings all cook with rosemary. It's a widely used herb that is also and can be a decorative item in your landscape design. You know, snip off a couple of these, throw them in the spaghetti, take a few of these off, dip them in some melted butter, and lather that next award-winning steak that you're gonna cook on your BBQ, hello. But the smell is so wonderful, and it just makes you so relaxed. And we go back to this. Why do we want smelling things and things you can hear and see out in the landscape it's to relax you, make you feel at home, make you feel comfortable, and stress level comes down. That's why we love plants, and we gotta show you all the plants that we can, because we need them. But great plant, the creeping rosemary is evergreen, very drought tolerant once established, and these are great. The creeping variety stays pretty low, under two feet, and it'll creep, crawl around, and spread out for you. Great for borders, erosion areas, slopes, etc. Deer proof, another bonus for this plant. And it's like sun, likes a little bit of part sun. It's just an overall great plant. It doesn't have a lot of insect disease issues. And we had to add this to the list, the creeping rosemary. Smell it, smell it. Ready for smell of vision number five, we have Lantana for you. Amazing perennial to add to your next landscape or garden or container area that's close to you so it can hug you all day long with a beautiful scent. The scent's amazing. Really vibrant, citrusy, pungent. We smelt it as soon as we yanked it from the uh, container area over there. And it's very colorful. You know, Lantana's bulletproof uh, perennial comes up every year for you. It gets large and in charge. This thing's gonna get up to six, seven feet tall and wide. Is deer proof, hello. So there's a lot of benefits to Lantana. And one of them being Miss Huff variety is gives you this really wonderful complex flower arrangement of oranges, yellows, pinks, in their display. This is a small plant, so as it gets larger and larger over time, it's gonna fill in and just be a huge dynamic shrub to uh, add as an accent or mass plant these, but give them a lot of room. They're gonna need a lot of room because they get big, six feet or so, and it grows in a wide variety of soil conditions. Very hardy. Lantana. 
Miss Huff, you can't beat it. We love it. Who wants to see a bonus plant? And we have it for you. It's the anise. This one happens to be called Florida Sunshine. This is actually a plant that they use to help flavor candies to make it taste like licorice. If you break off a leaf and you do have a hint of licorice here, I mean, when you specially break the leaf over, woo, all that power comes out. So this smells just like licorice and um, the anise is a very good evergreen screening type plant. It does get fairly large and it's used to screen out nasty neighbors as well as the color is amazing. Florida sunshine here has this beautiful bright cherry foliage color to it and it's a year-round evergreen plant that you can count on and uh, you know as that water and air develop the plant bigger and bigger the licorice smell gets more intensified so when that wind draws around you're gonna get that onto your property. So this is one we had to give you as a bonus, the Florida Sunshine Anise. Thank you so much for watching guys. Adcox Nursery is always great. They have amazing plants. Check them out, description below. If you know of any other great smelling plants, comment below, we'd love to hear from you. We need some more green thumbs. Please like this video. It helps us grow and our channel grow. And what interesting thing I thought of today, you know, plant nurseries. It's for our baby plants to grow and get better and everything grows with love and what better thing to take care of than your own plants and they will in turn take care of you guys. Till the next video, see ya.